major Halo Infinite information dump coming your way in this video. 343 recently held their social stream, which they do about every other week or once a week kind of thing to kind of just talk with the community and kind of give you a little update with uh, what's going on with Halo. The last one of the year and it just happened yesterday and they brought in Chris Lee, the head of Halo Infinite, you know, F 343, to give you some information about a little bit about Halo Infinite. So. We got some, and we're going to go into all the details when it comes to this episode here. First, if you guys like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button. It greatly helps out the channel, helps out more people get to see this video to get to stay in the know when it comes to Halo Infinite. Leave a comment down below what your guys' thoughts are or hopes are when it comes to Halo Infinite, because I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. Keep you notified whenever we do anything awesome with Halo, which is going to be every time things we'll be talking about in this video are we talking about there's a playable version of halo infinite at 343 right now as we speak Halo infinite flight program much like the how the different mcc will be happening for this game but maybe not so much for pc potentially reach level of customization for infinite as well and split screen officially confirmed but let's stay tuned throughout the video to get all the little details here so we haven't really heard much at all about Halo Infinite since its initial release trailer back in E3 2018. So they brought in Chris Lee to kind of talk about it, kind of confirm some things we were kind of suspicious about. And uh, so they kind of talked about what they've been working on since Infinite. And really what they've been focusing on is trying to flesh out the slip space engine, try to give developers the options that they need to have quick turnaround when it came to uh, creating content and developing things for the game. And also be able to, I'm sure, be able to update rather soon, rather quickly, so it's not so cumbersome. Uh, that was one thing that was mentioned in the stream. They brought on Burger, who was one of the uh, engineers on the team, I guess you can call him. And he was saying how that was a big issue with Halo 5's engine, that it was really just difficult to kind of do some or any kind of content update. So that's what they're doing, focusing a lot on Halo Infinite, especially since they're looking to make this game a game as a service rather than just a release like they did with Halo 5, that you need to have easy access for your development team to create content, ease of access when it comes to updating and changing things on the fly, which is very important for this kind of game. One part about the social stream as well that I thought they kind of just glossed over with kind of nonchalantly saying, but without really knowing the implications of it. But they say that 343 every year around the holidays, this time of year, they do a company wide um, playoff kind of competition thing with Halo, playing Halo, trying to see which team does the best. But they mentioned on stream that they'll be playing Halo Infinite for their game. Now, it doesn't mean that like Halo Infinite is ready to go. No means by that at all. But this does mean there is a very playable version of Halo Infinite right now at 343. So like kind of we hopefully give you the idea that you know, maybe hopefully some maybe you know in, within a year or two we'll be having Halo Infinite in our hands ready to play. This kind of gives me more hope about when the flat program was going to happen. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably going to happen sometime this year, maybe in March or spring or summertime, I would think, is when the flight program will probably start happening for Halo Infinite. Because they said they're going to have multiple flights, so they want to have communication with the community to kind of you know get a chance to play the game over and over again to get chance before when they get the full release, they get the game right. Now, they mentioned about the flight program for Halo Infinite. Obviously, it's going to be on console because that's where you know Halo's bread and butter is right there. And it worked really well with MCC. They're going to do probably just transfer that same thing over to Halo Infinite. But in chat they asked, what well, about PC? Will they be getting any flight options when it comes to it? Right now, they don't exactly have the plans for it. They didn't exactly say no, but it's not initially within the scope of the idea when they're talking about flights. And so I would expect if you're going to be a PC player, I would not uh, bank on being able to play flights of Halo Infinite since it's going to be mainly a console based game. But maybe towards the end, I would maybe assume maybe like some test about you know, stressing out the game on PC. Hopefully that'd be my, you know, cross my fingers on that one. But uh, so it sounds like PC flights might not really be happening. This is what Chris Lee said about that. Um, You know, I, I don't think we've really talked about like the specifics around that. Um, I think we are releasing I mean, on PC. Obviously the game is being developed yeah, with so, PC in mind. So we, we are, we're releasing on PC. I think we'll probably start... Um, 
not on PC, but then get to PC over time. Yeah, PC flight sounds kind of iffy, but hopefully it does happen. Also on stream, Sketch asked Chris Lee about the customization that we'll be seeing in Halo Infinite. As we know with Halo 5, it left a lot to be desired. There was probably more items, I would say, for customization when it came to Halo 5, but it was just your helmet and your body piece, legs, and everything else. Like, it doesn't, you had more options, but the, the quality of customization just was not there with Halo 5. I left a lot to be desired. I really felt like I wasn't able to customize my Spartan the way I wanted to express myself in the game. I just kind of choose whatever looked the best, really. And a lot of people wear the same armor as me, which is kind of something that you missed out. That's one thing with Halo Reach, you're able to achieve much higher level of customization with fewer items, but I would assume that uh, there's going to be a reach level of customization because when Sketch asked Chris Lee about it, Chris Lee said this. So I would say that those fans are going to be really uh, excited when they get to learn more about our uh, Halo Infinite customization. I, I, I agree um, that Reach did a really great job there. So given that Chris Lee spoke very fondly about the Halo Reach level of customization, this just like he has to believe that this is going to be something that's gonna be in Halo Infinite. And I think it'd be absolutely amazing. This just makes me just all giddy like a little fanboy ready to just get way over excited about this game. And also we do know that they did say previously, Bonnie Ross did say this a couple of years ago, saying that uh, one of the mistakes with Halo 5 that did not have split screen. And so we finally had an official confirmation that split screen is in Halo Infinite. I repeat, split screen will be in Halo Infinite and not just a nerfed version of it. For, they said they had four players at once playing on the same console, split screening it up with Halo Infinite. There was a really cool moment uh, when Halo Infinite was up and running and we had four people on the team playing on one TV, correct? Confirmed. Yeah. We have split screen working. Split screen. split screen is an amazing feature. It's something that's been lost with the last, uh, this generation, I'd say, of gaming. And yeah, a lot of times we do focus a lot on being able to just, you know, play on our own. Uh, I definitely do play less with friends in the room when it comes to gaming than I did in the past. Uh, due to online experiences, but split screen is super important for Halo. It's what Halo was built on, was split screening back in the CE Halo 2 days. That's my little rant on split screen. I'm really glad it's back in the game. 4v4 player co-op is confirmed with Halo Infinite. That's amazing. Also, Chris Lee kind of hinted at something for all you players in Halo 5 who reached rank 152. He did mention this. If you make Spartan rank 152 in Halo 5, we will do something for you. In okay, game. that is actually a new reveal. That's new information. Essentially confirming all you players who reached 152 in Halo 5, you're going to get some form of recognition in Halo Infinite. Of course, me as a Halo 5 fan makes me want to grind Halo 5 even more. I'm currently at 147 right now, so I'm getting close to 152, but I need to put in some time this year if I'm going to try to hit that before Halo Infinite comes out. It's like, oh, how great would that be to have that recognition in Halo Infinite? Because I love Halo 5's multiplayer, and I love to be able to shut it off a little bit within Halo Infinite. <gasps> That's a lot of information right there, guys, but I still have more coming from that uh, social stream. I feel like those topics are going to need their own separate video because there was a lot to talk about with this. You know, obviously the stream really did just to kind of just confirm all we knew, but all the stuff that we knew before was kind of more just mentioned right back at E3 and we haven't heard anything since. So obviously we've had uh, about, what, six months worth of development time for this game. Anything happened? Did you fulfill those promises? And it sounds like a lot of the promises that they said in the update on Halo Waypoint back in, uh, back at, during E3 uh, kind of came true so far. So I'm really excited about Halo Infinite. It's just like the last two social streams have been fantastic and there's something you guys don't want to miss. Obviously that's the last one of the year. Uh, I do tweet out every time they do do a social stream. So uh, if you want to keep up to date with that, make sure you follow me on Twitter. They do streams over on Discord, uh, over on Mixer. So follow them on Mixer as well to stay up to date with all that great. But yeah, that's everything about this video right here. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know when you see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you guys' favorite aspect of the video was uh, about or at least a little bit of the information. Mine's definitely have to be the reach level of customization. For me personally, it's probably the thing I'm looking the most forward to out of all the information we got out of this live stream here. And if you're new to the channel, want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell, keep you notified with anything awesome on the channel. 
you miss any content from me or are new to the channel, make sure to check out the vids on the screen right over here. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.